well, beautiful project here. Uh, if you remember, we brush hogged all this uh, last year. Uh, it looked like kind of that. And now this year we're tilling it and going to put in a uh, short native prairie grass with wildflowers. So, yeah. Now what we gotta do is basically uh, till this side, get it ready. Um, up through here, you can see a couple flags. That was by the, uh, the owner. They want kind of this area right up to where I tilled, uh, turned into turf grass. So turf grass through here, wildflower or a wild prairie grass and wildflowers through there. It's gonna be beautiful. So this day was just tilling and doing some stump grinding. So there were some larger stumps through there. Uh, so we hit it with the stump grinder and lo and behold, look at this guy. Who says we don't have snakes in Minnesota, huh? No, that's just a native gardener snake. It, it won't hurt nothing. Even if it does bite you, it doesn't have any teeth and it's definitely not venomous. Uh, but I just wanted to show, you know, hey, we get random animals in Minnesota and snakes as well. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Little guy sleeping. Little bunny. So, remember this project? We till the, the back part, we're gonna till this front part and put in uh, turf grass right up to where we stopped tilling. That's me. Hi. Then we're just going to start tilling this top area over here. Really kind of using a tiller as a mulcher. Crazy as that sounds. That's what we got going on. Start getting deeper here. Using the hydraulic top link. Okay, so we just hooked up the uh, chain harrow. Now I got it on the least aggressive setting, so it's the, the tines are all the way up. If I've ever seen a project where it needs a little more aggressive, Boy, it'd probably be this project. But this is what I use when I do, uh, when I till existing lawns that have green grass that need to be leveled out. This is what drags all the uh, grass clippings. So let's give her a shot. All right, here goes now. Oh, it's dragging it. Uh, yeah, we're doing too good of a job. Huh. Get the grass and not get the sticks. That's an interesting turn of events. It's doing great with the grass. Not so much with the sticks.
does a remarkable job with the grass. Just doesn't do anything with sticks. Why won't it pick up any sticks? I'm gonna say no to these Adelinks. I think we're gonna do carabiners. That's what I think we're gonna do. Let's see how the aggressive setting does. Oh yeah. Oh, what a difference. What a difference. Now we're railroading. Oh yeah. That's a big difference. Huge. Huge. Look at that. All sticks. Just cult a pack in the seed in, drill in the seed. Just about done. A lot of stumps over here. A lot of banging and clanging. We'll get covered up by the uh, short prairie grass and uh, wildflowers. Had to go to a low range. Well, as they load up for the final time on a one-year project, let's uh, walk it down and see how it was. So, when it first started, it was a brush hog job. 12-foot um, trees and thick brush. Um, pretty sure I have a video of that from last year. Um, the area right through here is uh, uh, gonna be, you know, basically a, a tall, or a, a turf grass, um, call it the golf course portion of the project, uh, all re-leveled. This is all wild through here also. <clears throat> Pushed all the, all the brush, uh, used the uh, chain harrow. Boy, is that thing pretty handy, um, all in there. Yeah, um, then we get over, you know, past here to the short prairie grass, and short means uh, two to four feet, uh, none higher than that, with uh, Midwest wildflower mix on it. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, turned out pretty well. So again, it was all, you know, stuff like that, way over the rops on a 2038R the rollover protection roll bar. That big black thing, yeah, way over, way over that. Um, a lot of two, three inch um, brush wood. Uh, hit, hit a couple five inch, uh, guarantee ya. Um, it's in the debris pile. 
so yeah taking taking a big uh you know rough cut to you know this is all gonna be you know basically a, you know golf course quality well <laughs> take it for what it is um and then you know look at that view <clears throat> look at that view it's gonna be beautiful with the wild flowers uh versus on the other option so hey hope, hope you liked uh viewing it and um yeah like share and subscribe thanks guys